I'm going to do some Ricci calisthenics. I don't really call them calisthenics. It just is a fun word to say. I do random pulls. And that's where I take 13 random tiles and I try to figure out what Yaku I might go for. It's a great way to get to know the scoring elements for Ricci. If you have a set at home, give this exercise a try. If you're new to Mahjong, specifically Ricci, or if you already know how to play and want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. Let's do some calisthenics. Well, random pulls. I have six ten bow, and we'll just try to do six random pulls in 15 minutes. I have my Hanshin indicator here. So we'll, do, we'll alternate between east and south. And then I'm just going to roll the dice to randomize which seat I would be in, hypothetically. For this first one, we're going to be north. So I'll just put up a four. It's east round. First random pull. North is Dora. The rotation or progression of Dora for winds is east, south, west, north. East, southwest. So west is Dora. And one way you can remember that is to say eat soup with nuts. East, south, west, north. And then it goes from north back to east. So eat soup with nuts. So we're going from soup to with. So west is Dora. Let's see what tiles we get. As, for, as north, we get 13 tiles. Eat soup with west. We have north and south, but we're north. So this might come in handy. I think I would hold it for a little while, maybe. But we primarily have numbered tiles here. We even have a chow right there. So for this set of tiles, I would play Pinfu. Pinfu and Reach. Pinfu is all cheese, which is three in a sequence. So here's a two nine. These are isolated. Those aren't going to be helpful yet unless we draw tiles that we can use to make those a chi or a pair. But we have a three, four, six. So we could actually, well, three, four, six is okay because we could have, if we draw a five, we could have a three, four, five or a two, three, four, but we could also use four, five, six. This is a stronger weight for a chi because it's called a side weight where we need a two crack or a five crack to complete it. So that's a stronger weight than a closed weight, which is when you need the tile in the middle. So probably three, four, five or two, three, four there, that's isolated. And then we have another isolated tile there and we have a chi right here. So this is actually going to be a pretty rough start because we only have two blocks that have any potential at the moment. We need to draw in other number tiles in order to use these. Also, the terminals are a challenging tile when you're playing Pinfu because you can only work from the edge of that terminal. So for a nine, we need a seven, eight, nine, or we could use it as a pair. For a one, we could only use that for a one, two, three, or a pair. But for all these other numbers, you can work on either side of them. So numbers two through eight are much more flexible for Pinfu. So we'll have to wait and see what goes on here. Um, there's also a nice combination, my favorite, called Hanitsu, which is half flesh, but we would have to get rid of six tiles and we have the same number of dots than we do cracks. So that's when I decide to play Pinfu, leverage the numbered tiles and get rid of the winds and dragons, which are also called honors. So I would play Pinfu and reach with this set of tiles. If you would do something different, if you already know how to play, write it in the comment section. 
If we drew well, maybe we could even do something with all these terminals, but yeah, that would be pretty lucky. So let's do another random pull. Oh, that's a bummer. Akadora, red fives. That's the Dora indicator. So that has taken the opportunity for another Han in your hand. So six bam is Dora. And as non-dealer, we're gonna get 13 tiles. So let's see what we might do with this set of tiles. Okay, we have four honors this time and a pair. Oops, that's not an honor. There it is. And we have a pair of Souths. And we are in East Round. That's East Round. We're seat four. So that South is not really going to be helpful. So let's see here. We have options. We could either, oops, there. We could either play Pinfu and get rid of all the honors, including, well, we can use a non-value pair for, for uh, Pinfu. So this is okay, since we're in seat four or north and it's south round, this pair will not bring any score. So we can actually leverage that as the pair. The challenge here is we have only one potential chi right here. All these other tiles, we have a pair and isolated tiles. So that's going to be a bit of a long haul. The other option would be to play uh, Hanitsu, which is a half flush, but we would have five tiles to get rid of. When I play lately, I've been thinking if I can find a combination that has four or fewer discards from the onset, I might go with that option as a plan of action. So if we played Pinfu, even though we have all these isolated tiles, including this pair, because if we leverage that south, we need tiles in here to use as cheese. So we would need to draw in all these tiles here. There's a lot of work to be done there. So I think I would start by discarding these two, draw in number tiles and try to develop as many blocks of, of number tiles as possible to get to Pinfu, which is all cheese. Also, we do have Dora. So five BAM is the indicator, six BAM is Dora. So that would bring score. You gotta build around Dora if you wanna exponentially increase your scoring. That, that definitely helps. And sometimes I think I discount Dora too much. I need to train myself to really leverage Dora. Build around it if you can. So that's what I would do here. If you would do something differently with these, let me know. So we're on to number four, south round. And let's just say that we are in seat six, which is south. Non-dealer gets 13. Okay, we picked a dragon. Red, white, and green dragons. This is a green dragon. The progression of Dora indicators for dragons is red, white, and green, and then back to red. So red dragon is Dora. Red, white, green, red, white, green. We have green as the indicator, so red is Dora. Red dragon. Let's see what we have. We got a red dragon. So we're gonna use that. Maybe we could play Hanitsu this time. We've got a lot of BAMs, including Akadora, the red five. I think definitely Hanitsu for this one. My favorite hand. This is my favorite Yaku, I should say. The Yaku is a scoring element. So 
This is amazing, actually. I would really love to play this one out. We've got a couple of dragons, including Dora. We have Akadora, and we have only four discards to get to a half flush. So I would leverage that and also that. The nice thing is, is we have great chi potential here, and we even have a little bit of pwn potential because we have a pair here as well. So we could maybe break out the three here into two potential cheese. So maybe something like this. And when I talk through this, this is just brain exercise. You want to stay flexible, so don't lock yourself in, but it's just a way to kind of get your mind thinking about the ways that you can arrange your tiles in your mind. I wouldn't actually arrange them like this when I play. You want to leave them in order and in suit and just in your mind work it through. So I would think this could be a potential chi, this could be a potential chi, this could be a pair, and then of course we're going to need to draw in more number tiles around these bams. But all these tiles are in a sequence, so this has a lot of flexibility. If we can get twos and sevens, eights, this would be amazing in bams, of course. Um, this would be amazing because we would have a lot of flexibility there. So that's how I would play this. I would play Hanitsu, half flush. Okay, we're going to go to the next random pull, number five. We're back to east round, and I rolled a four, so that would be north. East, south, west, north. Eat soup with nuts, so south is Dora. We got a south. So I want to use that if I can. South and west. We're we're in north seat. So we can we can leverage this south because it's south round. If you get a pwn or three of a kind of the round, then you get a han for that. Okay, what I would try to do here is something called I believe it's called either Chanta. Yeah, I think Chanta, because we have an honor. Chanta is also called an outside hand. That's four cheese or pones, each with a terminal or honor. So because we want to leverage Dora, I think I would try for Chanta here. And Chanta is exposable, so you can declare or you can claim a discard to complete a set. So here we have a chi. If we had a one dot, that would qualify. This we'd have to discard, because there's no way to get an outside tile with a six. The four, we'd have to get rid of two. But we have a seven, eight. We could claim a discard of nine. Uh, we have a one, two, three. This four, five would have to go away. So if we played Chanta, we would need to build around that too. So we'd have one, two, three, four, five blocks. If you would do something different, write it in the comment section. So we're back to south round. And I rolled an 11. So if eight is north, nine, 10, 11 is west. That's maybe what I was supposed to do a while ago. I forget. So this is the last one. Seven Bam is Dora. We do not have a seven bam, but we do have a four bam or a six bam here. That six bam could get us to a seven bam if we draw it. If you have tiles nearby Dora, see if you can use it. Look what else we have. A pair of white dragons. That dragon 
could be the yaku we go for. And we have a significant amount of cracks with great chi potential. So because a dragon pair has score, I would not try for pinfu here. I would go for a dragon pwn and a half flesh. Since we have five discards, I would have to draw really well to make that work. But we do have chi potential here. All we need is another crack to really get more comfortable because we have a 3-4 side weight, 6-7 side weight, 7-8 side weight, and a pair of white dragons. I would try for Hanitsu or Half Flesh here and a Dragon Pwn. And I would get rid of these and I'd probably get rid of, I'd probably get rid of the tiles in this order. Get rid of the 6 BAM to try to block any usage of Dora, then I would get rid of my terminals and then the other bands. And that way, sometimes I think about, you know, the other styles of play that I do, like Wright-Patterson and, well, really primarily Wright-Patterson. If you get rid of your terminals knowing that you're not going to use them, that's good because it could block anybody who's going for a bigger hand, like a honor hand. So I like to get rid of those early. Plus, they're, they're less flexible because you can only build from the, the edge of the sequence. So there are only a, um, three tiles that you can use as opposed to the flexibility with simples or, or two through eight. So I would start, I think, by discarding these followed by these and hopefully draw in cracks. And pwn that white. So let me know what you think about those random polls. Again, if you would do anything differently for those, write them in the comments section. I'm still learning myself. So if you know how to play, give me some advice. I would really appreciate it. And the community at large probably could learn from comments as well. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing. Click the bell. That way you get notification when I post new videos and maybe pick up a strategy or an insight into the game that could give you an advantage at the table between now and the next set of random pulls for Richie Mahjong. May all your picks be keepers.